Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these Evol meals. It is the chicken tikka masala. It is white rice with tender white meat chicken, carrots, peas, and onions all topped with an insanely tasting tikka masala sauce. Insanely tasting. Um, chicken is without antibiotics, 12 grams of protein, 3 grams of fiber, gluten free, simple ingredients, looks pretty decent. Um, we bought these at Meyer. They were $3.89, which isn't too awfully bad, I don't think. Okay. So in the size of the meal, some people like to know that. So it's a nine ounce or 255 gram meal. That's how, that's how big it is. So this one is 270 calories. There's the other stuff for you. And instructions. Uh, yeah, it does have oven directions. If you want to cook it in the oven, there's directions. That's how you do it. But we don't do ovens on this channel, so we're going to do it in the microwave. So we're going to remove the ball from the card and cut a slit in the center. Uh, microwave and high for three minutes and 30 seconds or until fully cooked. Let's stand for one minute. So 3.30. Poke a, hole, poke, poke a slit in it so it'll vent it and you just don't have it pulled back. And 3.30. Slit, 3.30. I don't see a lot of sauce in there. I think there's some, I don't know. I don't see a lot of sauce in there. Maybe it's all at the bottom. Decent sized bowl. I'm going to cut a slit in here, get it in the microwave, and I'll be back when it comes out. All right, here it is out of the microwave. There was some sauce. It was all over on that one, one side. As you can see, it smells pretty good. Uh, it doesn't smell particularly, um, well, no, it does have some spice to it now that I'm getting a better whiff of it. It smelled like rice um, at first, just pure rice. Now I'm getting a little bit more of that spice uh, smell. So I'm going to let this cool off a bit. Not a whole lot because uh, it did sit for a minute in the microwave. So I'm going to cool off for just a minute and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, it's had some time to cool off. I've got chicken and corn and a pea and rice. Don't want to drop it on the table. There we go. And quite a bit of chicken. They're about the size. But like that. Um, so it's a decent amount of chicken. I definitely get that that seasoning, that spice, uh, the tikka masala spice. Um, kind of like a curry. Yeah, I guess that it's more like almost like a curry sauce. I don't know. I don't eat this kind of um, the seasonings ever. So um, it's okay. If you like tikka masala, you might like this meal. For me, the spices, you get the savoriness, and then it's also got this odd sweetness to it. It's, um, you know, it's one of the spices. I don't know which one it is. It's not for me. I don't really enjoy this, the spices in this. I don't really like the um, the flavors. The um, It's not something I would I absolutely like disgust me, but I don't enjoy them. So I would not personally eat this meal again. If you've had tikka masala before and you like it, try it out. You might really love this. For me, it's just not a flavor I enjoy. So it's a personal opinion. I'm gonna rate this like a two because I just don't like this flavor. Um, the quality of the meal though itself is pretty good. The chicken is good. You get a decent amount of it. Um, you get tons of rice, tons of peas, tons of carrots. So you get a lot of it and you got a lot of the sauce. The flavors are, are good and rich and strong, but they're just not a flavor that I enjoy. So. Two for me, but you might love it. So this is one you're just going to have to try it yourself because I just personally don't like this spice. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.